Hello guys and welcome back to episode 18 of the Borussia Dortmund save on FM24 and this is going to be one of the bigger episodes for season 2. It's Bayern Munich at home. Last time round we lost 3-0. This time round we need to get our revenge and let's see how we fare. So since last time nothing has changed. We've advanced through to the DFL, DFB Pokal Quart semi-final. We do play Leipzig at home which is a good thing but this today is going to be all about Bayern Munich and whether or not we can beat them in the Bundesliga. As you can see here Bayern Munich are top with 50 points. We're behind them by one point with a three goal difference separating us. Then Leipzig. Leipzig have drew today against Frankfurt 2 all a 94th minute winner or oh, drew well the 94th minute equaliser by Ramage sees them draw again and drop more points. So they're currently sitting five points behind us. Their goal difference has been tarnished. But today, we really need to strut our stuff against this Bayern Munich side. And I think we're going to be prepared for it. So uh, we've seen Renato Sanchez pick up an injury. We've seen Rooney, obviously, well, we've seen him since last time, pick up a virus for nine days. Nonso's out injured as well, which means quite a few changes are in store to be made. Ryerson's going to come out. We're going to put Mafio back into the the side. Tomori can stay in, Kimpembe in there because there's a great dynamic between these two and they generally play very, very well together. Andre in the anchor position. Vigo's going to come out. We're going to bring in Marco Royce, Mr. Dortmund himself, the Dortmund Lion. In that advanced playmaker attack role, we're going to play Armada because look at the recent form for him. A 7.7 in the last five games. He's been fantastic for us. We're going to stick with Brandt for now, but on the left-hand side, Ansif Fati comes in and then up front, Mikoko replaces Haller, who's been in fantastic form, Haller. I just don't have a reason for him to start in a target forward position. If he was playing pressing forward, we probably could go with two up front. But for now, I just don't see, you know, the last few games, he's got five goals in 14 games, 7.23. He's, he's, he, I mean, he's been playing fantastic. He's been playing absolutely fantastically well for us. Seven rating, but I can bring him on if we need that type of player up front. But... He's just, Makoko's been on fire. Makoko's been on fire. You can see here, 126 million in his contract. I'll probably have to start renewing his as he runs out in 2026. So I'll have to try and get beat him to a contract in there, discuss it with him, because he's going to be a fantastic player for us. There we have it. That's how we're going to line up positively against Bayern Munich. We're both in fine, fine form. 30 yellow cards and a red card between all the meetings we've had so far with Bayern Munich, which have been plentiful over the last few episodes. The only one thing I do want to change and I want to try and have a look at is if we can maybe mark players a bit tighter, get the opposition instructions in because at the moment I believe their system managers may be playing with us a little bit because when I've done them myself I have noticed the results improve as you can see from like the previous five, six games now where we do win quite a lot. Of in this one, I don't know if they're going to close down or put the instructions on Bayern Munich as much as I'd like so let's just see if they've done that as they ha shake hands with... Thomas Tuchel, I believe it's Thomas Tuchel still. Anyway, as you can see, all the players line up there. A massive game against Bayern Munich now today. And this will be probably a league decider. It's going to encourage the lads. Come on, boys, get going. We've already had a shot on goal. Let's see how we fare in this one. I'm going to demand more so far. 21 minutes in, there's another highlight here. Kimmich picks up in the middle of the park. Pings it out to Kingsley Coman. Kingsley Coman coming down this right-hand side now. Played inside to Maserawi, who gets it back. Kimmich picks it up now. He's dropped a lot deeper. Maserawi finds Muller, who tries to ping it over, and Kimpembe gets that way to Ansu Fati now, who's got acres of room to walk into. He fires it forward. And that's an awkward one. And Sommer now probably tries to get that clear as it's headed away. Sane picks it up. Musiala, he's got great dribbling skills, goes forward down onto this left-hand side. What's he going to do with it now? He pulls it back towards Leroy Sane. He's going to have a shot on goal. Puts it in the bottom right-hand corner, and we go 1-0 down as we go from an opportunity going forward, which Ansu Fati wastes. Two, straight into a Musiala. Brilliant bit of dribbling on display there. Pulls it back towards Sane. Who's this here? Is it Marco Royce? Loses his man. Sarp could have picked up Sane potentially. And he puts that into the bottom right and corner of the net. Beautiful goal by Bayern Munich. Caesars go 1-0 down. Bayern Munich looking like they're having a lot of fun out there. And they're dominating the game in terms of match momentum. Al Julian Alvarez has just joined the pitch as well instead of Thomas Muller. As we go into half time, that's going to see us, you know, a disappointing first half. Completely disappointing. But hands on hips. 
You simply need to be better in front of goal. You know what I'm going to do as well? I'm going to push forward. Maybe play Almada a bit further forward. Get a bit more attacking. I don't want to go to a 4-2-2-2 because it just doesn't work this year. The 4-2-3-1 is much more dominant in this one. Really do with Rooney back in this squad. Mazraoui, 55th minute now. There's a highlight for Bayern Munich. Kimmich pulls it back towards Davies who wanders inside. Can we maybe run the ball back? Here we do. And Tamori can maraud forward and he comes down his right-hand side. Can he pull it inside? He does. He finds Almada. Who finds him? Oh my God, what a goal. What a goal. Al Thiago Almada sees Sommer off his line and thumps it over his head. What's just gone on? Tamori down this right-hand side thinking he's some sort of wide centre-back or wing-back. Almada, first time curler off the bar into the side netting over Sommer. What a goal. <laughs> what have I just seen? Kimmich stands over a free kick just as we've scored. Royce tussles for it in the edge of the box and Schlotterbeck gets that away. Marlon heads it on. No one's there. Mazraoui can come forward with it now down this left-hand side. In towards Musiala. Will he try and find the ball forward? He doesn't. And it's a nice little bit of interchange between him and Sotalo at the back. Gives it out wide to Kingsley Coleman. And Wijendal takes that off in beautiful play. Cobble into Tomori. We're playing it out from the back now. Great bit of play. Really confident. Confidence is oozing out now. Wijendal down this left-hand side. Go on, son. Get a cross in if you can. Pulls it back to Schlotterbeck. Brilliant play by him there. Schlotterbeck inside to Ansu Fati. We're playing absolutely fantastic footballers. Sebastian Haller puts that over the bar. We're going to bring on Vitor Roque. We'll let him have a go up front. Let's fire up the boys. It's the last few minutes. We've got a corner here. Wijendal is going to play it short into, I don't know who's come short there, but come on, Wijendal. Play it short into Almada. Give it in back. Wijendal can find a cross now. Marlon's there! And Marlon! Daniel Marlon from the... From the co oh, I've, lost, I've lost for words. He's come off the bench. Into this right-winger role. Finds him. And this corner tactic has been so poor through the year. This is exactly how I envision we play it. We ping it back to the player who finds a crossing. And Marlon finds some space. Puts it in the back of the net. It's serious signs for me to go on to cautious and see the rest of this game out. 93rd minute now. This is going to be a massive win for us if we see it out into the 96th minute and 2-1 against FC Bayern after going 1-0 down. Almada having a Mwah display. What a game. A game of the ages there. Outstretched Starms. I'm very happy with that. Absolutely fantastic. I'm over the moon. We've just had two different achievements there. Unbeatable and you're on fire. So you're on fire. Ten consecutive matches won in a row. And unbeatable, you've been unbeaten for ten competitive matches in a row. So look at that. Wow. Just wow. That That is a massive result. Absolutely huge. That infills me with a bit of confidence to go and give Real Madrid a bit of a run. Give Real Madrid a massive run for their money. So if you go into the league table now, we go first for the what feels like an absolute age. We've not been top this whole season. And now we've beaten Bayern Munich. We're going to go top in game week 22. Oh, this is magic. This is this is the magic of the Bundesliga. Clear by two points now. The goal difference is down to one. And Bayern Munich are crumbling. They're crumbling again. We saw it last year. Look at that to the start of a the season. They've been absolutely un unbeatable in the Bundesliga. Ooh, now it's not looking good for them, is it? Let's just filter it by the Bundesliga games. So in the Bundesliga, you can see they went on an absolute tear. They've been absolutely fantastic. You can see Frankfurt on the opening day of the season, they lost to. Then they lost to Hoffenheim at home. Managed to draw with Hamburg, and now they've lost to us. Ooh, it's going to be a scary one. It's going to be a really good end to the season. They have got, indeed, Leipzig at home, but they do have... A a difficult one in Stuttgart by a towards the back end of the season. So anyway, fantastic game for us there. Makoko not turning up whatsoever. He's been absolutely fantastic. You can see here he's been unbelievable and look at that a goal or an assist in pretty much his last five games absolutely tons of games only two games one against Real Madrid and one against Augsburg when he only played I think he played the full 90 minutes against Augsburg but didn't even really you know really partake in it but still had decent ratings maybe not a 6.5 but against Bayern he just didn't seem to turn up and we absolutely smashed him as soon as he came off brilliant display I, I, I'm over the moon I'm absolutely over the moon so anyway fantastic game absolutely brilliant I hope you are enjoying this series is this we could go back to back for the title race we're looking so good but we could possibly go back to back we're looking that good i'm really looking forward to seeing this end of this second series i want to try and get a champions league running i really do if we manage to win the title again I'll have to go again. It'll have to be a three for three. I mean, why not? If we don't, you know, I'll have to see how this series is going to end. The, the idea would be just to get Dortmund back into the winning ways and then just see them out there. 
But this has been a... I'm, I'm really falling in love with this save. Really, really am. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please do ever leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll catch you in the next one. From me, Alex, have a great day. Ciao.